Well, thank you very much, Peter. That's very generous of you. I must say that I used to run a lot of marathons. <laughs> Don't do as much of that now. <clears throat> Get a little older, a little slower. I did run yesterday, but, uh, and I think it's really good for the soul, but um, thank you all for that introduction. Good morning, everybody. It's really great to be here in China again. Before I begin, I want to thank um, Peter for that introduction, as well as uh, Gabriel High and Bo Brustern. It is my great pleasure to be here this morning, and really my great pleasure to be back in China. I was in public service for about 40 years, as Peter mentioned. My last job was the best, serving as the U.S. Ambassador to China for three years doesn't get much better. I also serve the state of Montana. I hope some of you visit Montana. I know you often go to Yellowstone Park, but we also have Glacier Park in Montana. We think it's even better than Yellowstone. Great job I had serving our state for six terms in the United States Senate, many of them as chairman of the Senate Finance Committee. Some say it's the best job in Congress, the most powerful committee in the Congress, I won't dispute that. It was a great job. But my last job here in China was even better. I loved it. Best job ever. Now why, you might ask? Well, because of the energy, the enthusiasm, the pragmatism, and competitive spirit of the Chinese people. The optimism, it's contagious. I even think the Chinese people are actually more optimistic about their future than Americans are about theirs. I still use WeChat every day to talk to my Chinese friends and encourage Americans to join up and use WeChat as well. Several times a day, I WeChat friends here in China. The Chinese development of payment systems especially fintech, is a good example of this optimism and this energy. Alipay, WeChat Pay are so easy here. No need for cash or credit cards in many restaurants. In fact, sometimes you can't use, as you know, credit cards or cash, only electronic payment systems. China is leapfrogging standard payment systems still used in the United States and other developed countries. Apple Pay is trying to be an accepted mode of payment in the United States, but it's catching up very slowly. It's disadvantaged, I think, compared with Chinese and other Asian countries' emergent payment systems. Why? Because established legacy institutions, such as banks and credit card companies, while still useful, will soon be overtaken by the new innovative technologies being developed here and in Asian countries and around the world. Chinese and Asian innovation is exciting. There should be more of that in the United States. But there's another reason serving in China was such a great job. It's the reward of working on the United States-China bilateral relationship, helping in every way possible to build confidence and trust with each other at every level from President Xi to party secretaries and provincial governors, from CEOs of SOEs and cab drivers, with everyone I met. My job was to develop trust and understanding, explain America, and ask questions about China. Clearly the most important bilateral relationship of the world, U.S.-China. The United States is the world's largest established power, and China is the world's largest rising power. When the size of China's economy inevitably exceeds that of the United States in the not-too-distant future, it's critical that our two countries understand, respect, and work well with each other. The living standards of our children and our grandchildren will depend upon it. FinTech is important to building that relationship. Now, why, you ask? A couple of reasons. First, it's one of the many ways our two countries will interact with each other. 
I believe that the more our two countries interact at as many levels as possible, the more our future is secure. We'll then understand and trust each other more. President Xi meeting with President Obama and now President Trump, business to business, the millions of tourists who visit each year, it all adds up. FinTech is another area of interaction. But there's a second reason FinTech is so important to our country's relationships. Not just US-China, but basically in the world. It's the FinTech innovations themselves. With all of its amazing actual and potential disruptive innovative technologies, new FinTech advances tend to empower people. They empower individuals by breaking down legacy institution and government barriers. Online commerce, online payment systems, online